Hey everyone, welcome back to another VRC video. Uh, today I will be doing some gameplay for the game Viking Rise and trying to answer as many questions as I can that new players might have about the game. Um, so I've played Game of War, Iron Throne, King of Avalon, Rise of Kingdoms, Age of Z, and Clash of Kings over the last several years and I believe that this game is by far the most fun to play. Um, it is also very free to play friendly. Uh, it's very easy to stay competitive in this game, even if you aren't spending like, thousands of dollars like some players do in these games. Um, once you load into the game, there's a bunch of NPCs that will be all around your, your kind of city here. It's a classic just kingdom builder game where you have just to upgrade different buildings and your chief's hall is kind of like your center building. And the max all for that is only level 25, so there's about like hundreds of levels that go into it. Um, there's free resources every day. There's NPCs all around here that you can kill in early game adventures. Um, you can have a maximum of five marches, and they look a little something like this. They're led by heroes, um, and there's not too many of heroes in the game, so you're not going to be overwhelmed trying to figure out what's good and what's not good. And all of these heroes are relatively achievable to max them out and make them very competitive. And it, even if you can't get some of those spendier ones, like some of these heroes are definitely more expensive than others. Um, like this guy, this guy's really tough to max out. You basically have to spend in order to get them leveled up, which apply, you can see, I do not have him leveled up because there's plenty of substitutes that I can use in my marches to stay competitive even without spending. Um, so marches kind of look something like this. You can march on the inside of your building. Um, they're just these little marches. You can control them by dragging them or as you kind of click the avatar over here and you double click. Um, it'll select all of your marches that are out that aren't gathering like this one. You have four troop types. Uh, three of them are used for combat, and then one of them is used for farming. It has a very high troop load, which as you can see, there are four different kinds of resources. Uh, these three are primarily used for upgrading war buildings on the inside of your castle, and then gold kind of gets more into play later in the game when you're doing a bunch of researching or when you have these higher tier troops. Speaking of troops, there are seven tiers for each of the types. Um, it's very achievable for everyone to kind of get to tier five, but you really have to start grinding and making use of your speed ups um, as efficiently as possible. Once you're pushing for the sixth and seventh tier, these just take so much time. As you can see, there are research levels, and in order to unlock um, advanced tiers of troops, you have to complete these researches, which provide you attack buffs and defense buffs and specific troop type buffs. A lot of healing speeds and to just kind of show you what this looks like i'm ready to start a research so um, there's plenty of buffs that i can activate that are available in the game that are free you accumulate these every day and you can get any kind of buffs you want just to scheme things up i've got a kingdom title going for 10 percent. i've got a rune that i pick up that's another 10 percent. and so there's just there's lots of ways to help you advancing this game uh and so here i'm just going to start a long going and uh, this I think this is my longest research. So like 72 days is the research time. And I'm very late game. So like I've maxed all of this stuff out. I've maxed this entire tree out. There's only two trees. Um, and so the researches that I'm doing right now are very end game. They're very long. And but a good thing is as you saw me just click the help button here. Um, you're in all in alliance alliances have a certain amount of members that they can have. As you can see, our maximum is 160. And the way that these member numbers go up is by building more flags. And I'll jump into that in a little bit, but the assists are right here and you get up to 30. And every assist I think is 1% off of your total time. So helps actually uh, decrease your time almost. in I think it's about a third to a half. Uh, plus all the buffs that you activated and then you have your speed up items uh, these speed up items are awesome because the primary primary way that you excuse me you can get these speed ups is from your alliance and just your alliance rallying npcs throughout the map then it's very free to play you don't have to like i didn't spend any money to get any of these speed up trigger 
And like I have 74 days saved up over like the last week or so. And so the gifts I'm talking about are here. So anytime our Alliance kills an NPC, we get one of these, which provides a bunch of resources and energy to hit NPCs around the map. And where you get the speed ups is those keys you saw I have to go over here and you get, um, usually you get between two or three days of speed ups from that box alone. And they fill up fast because we have so many members. And so you get a lot of your speed ups by not doing anything and just rallying these niffling leaders that are throughout the map. And we can do them at any time. I'll do one right now. If I can find a level 12 worm really quick, you guys can probably find it quicker than I can. So it's just boom, you can rally them. Um, in this game, you uh, can rally together. So like I can set, I'll be the leader for this rally. I'm gonna use my pikeman march with my pikeman heroes and I don't have enough energy to do it. So I gotta add some energy and boom, my rally is initiated. It comes into here and players can join it. And so at a 200,000 true march, I can get nine other players in here. If they all send maximum marches, there's an auto rally function so you don't even have to be on to fill these you can just turn an auto rally on and it does it without you being on the game um there's resource plots around the map um that usually aren't all empty like the ones i clicked on and you can have multiple accounts in this game so there's farm accounts that you can take advantage of to really get your resource production up there's um, NPCs, they're just nifflings. They're like monsters you can hit on your own and they drop a bunch of stuff. And there's a bunch of events that go along with that. There's new events all the time. There's an event calendar, so you can always stay up to date on events. Um, there's cool, uh, side quest games like Law of the Jungle. This will take you into an arena where you're fighting three other people. And this goes on every other week. A lot of these events repeat um, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And then the Viking Rice team is always coming out with new events on a monthly basis. And they just celebrated their uh, first year anniversary. So this game is relatively new and it has a great chat function. It's very easy to talk to people and coordinate things. Um, sorry, I can't multitask. I just gotta tell them I'm done with the title so they can do it to the next person. Um, and so there's always something going on. There's always a reason that you could be playing the game. Um, the heroes are pretty cool. So you get into the heroes. Each hero has these skills. These two come with the hero and then these two you can play with. And so there are dozens upon dozens of skills in the game. So you can test different combinations and see what's better than others. And as you get later into the game, you'll kind of figure out what skills are more useful and what aren't. But there's just so many options in this game to stay competitive and, and uh, compete with some of the spenders. Like, it's tough to do in other games. Um, so as you can see, I'm 30th on our Kingdom leaderboard. There are kingdoms, just like a lot of these other Kingdom games. Um, as you can see, all these different colors are flags that the tribe built. And so we have a lot of flag location coverage, and so that's why we have so many members. Um, usually later in the game, a whole kingdom comes together and forms one to two alliances and really just kind of stays in peace until you get to the kingdom versus kingdom, uh, events. As you can see, we've got them two of them and they are a month long. It's definitely something unique about Viking Rise to have an event that runs an entire month, if not longer. I think it's like 40 days or something like that, where you actually get teleported into a kingdom altogether with multiple kingdoms. So for example, in season one, we can see these four kingdoms are battling it out right now um, on the different map. And we can go watch that. We can go see what that looked like, but I'm just giving this as an example. So season two, it goes up and the amount of kingdoms in it doubles, so it goes up to eight. So now you're versing eight other kingdoms all on one map to try and win a month long event. So it's very intense, it's very fun. Um, you never know what's gonna happen. And season three is coming out soon, hopefully in the next month or so. And it sounds like we could have upwards of like 36 different kingdoms all competing to be the champion. And it's, it's very fun. It's very interactive. It's very easy to learn. It's easy to stay competitive. You can make farm accounts, get resources, and you can join a great alliance and save up your speed ups. And you can really just stay competitive as a lighter spender in this game. Um, 
So there, as you can see, here goes my rally. It's got a million troops in it, and we're gonna go and hit the sniffling leader. This is kind of what some of the animations look like. Um, as you can see, the march time is down below. It's it's pretty quick compared to other games. I know some games the march time is very very long, and you can like speed up your march, but you can't speed up marches in this. And this is kind of what the animation looks like. Um, these are the amount of troops that we're killing, and these are the amount of troops that I'm losing. Um, and you get reports in your mail and the reports of something like this. It tells you all, you can go into your charts and you can really get into a lot of the numbers and you can really get into this game. If you like this kind of stuff, and, um, there's different pets and mounts that you can pair with your heroes. And there's just, there's a lot of, there's a lot of volume in this game that you can really take advantage of. Um, so for new players, uh, I've got a code down below if you want to use that. Um, I've got all the links down below. It really helped me out if you would use my promo code. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing down below and liking the video. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one.